Hello everybody, it's me again, and I'm gonna start a new series of videos related to table of views in iOS. All right, I'm creating a new project. This project, you can, uh, I'm using a single view, but you can start with a master detail. The nice thing about master detail, it's a template, already has a table of view on it. Okay, so if you wanna just learn how to get, to get used, to use a table of view, you can start with this one. But to understand, we're gonna start with the single uh, view application. So I'm gonna click on next, I'm gonna call it table view uh, example, and then we click on next. Click on create. All right. The application already gives us a view controller and a main view controller in the storyboard. I'm going to delete those because we don't need them now, okay? And I'm going to delete the view controller that comes with it, okay? Move, move to trash, that means it actually delete the source code as well. If you move reference, it just remove it from the project, but the, the source code stays there, and stays there. All right. So what do we have here? We have an empty storyboard, and we've used view controller before in the object list here. One of them, is, we've used the navigation controller, and then we have a tab, a table of view controller that we haven't used before. So I'm gonna drag it and drop it on my screen, and we'll talk about this in a minute. First, I'm gonna disable this, just it's easier, okay? Now, what is a table of view? Let's take a look at the property of this table view. So under the view controller, you inside of it, you have a table view. The table view, if you look at the property, first, a table is a list of things. List of rows, list of cells, whatever you wanna call them. And that list, you can customize whatever appears in each row, all right? So the list of things is the table. Whatever appears in each row is your cell, okay? Now, you can have different type of table view. One of them is called dynamic prototype. One of them is static cells. What's the difference? Dynamic, they change uh, as you want them to change. Static, whatever you design here stays here, okay? They don't change. You don't need to change the value all the time, all right? There's another one here that is important to us, which is the style. You can have a plane, which is what you see here, or you can have group. Group means what? You can actually have multiple sections. So for example, you can have, uh, you will have a section, and then underneath it you have rows. You will have another section, and then underneath it, underneath it you have rows. But what we're interested in the first time is called plane. So we're gonna use the plane. All right, so that is related to the table. Now, the cell, which is this, you can actually have different, style, different styles of cells. So for example, you can have a simple cell just like one line, or you can have a cell with multiple content. You can have your own design cell, which means that you can add a label, a button, uh, an image, and things like that on this table, or on the cell, or you can use some of the stuff that are already provided for us. So. We will start with some of these. We'll start with the subtitle first. And the other ones will be pretty simple. So what is this? For example, basic, you'll have only a title, one row. All right? If you have, uh, if you want different options, you have a title and a detail next to it. If you have left details, so it will have the title and the details here to the left. If you want, Subtitle, you'll have the title and the detail underneath it, okay? We'll talk about these in more details. This is it to get you started, okay? There is another thing that is not showing here, which is the image. So there is actually an image related to each cell, each cell, all right? All right. Okay, so this is in terms of the design. Now, if we look at this, there is, in the property of that cell, there is one thing that is very critical, which is called identifier, cell identifier. And I'm gonna call it cell for now, and then we'll see how we use it later on. All right, I'll explain to you what that means in a, in a minute. Okay, now, for the cell, you can have 
different behaviors. For example, you can, when you select it, you will get default color. You can say, when I select it, when I touch it, I can get a gray color, blue color, none, okay? So you can, you can decide if you, want, if you want to customize what color you want to view, when you click on the cell, you can select one of those. You can also have what we call the accessory. Accessory is, and I'll show you here in a minute, you can have, for example, disclosure indicator, that arrow. That means that there are more information. If you click on this, it'll show you more information. You can have another one called detailed disclosure so when you click on this it'll show you uh, there is uh, you get a different icon with more and, and has a detailed disclosure check mark that means when i click on it i check it that means you can have multiple cells here that you want to select as you click on it then you check those cells okay and detail is that i uh, just the id information okay the one we are interested in is that we will do, we're not interested in any right now. We'll get back, we'll say none, and then in the other videos, I'll show you how we use these, okay? Okay, I think we're ready to populate this table. A table, just like a view controller, need a custom view controller. If you look at the identity inspector right now, for this table, this view controller, it has no custom class. So we have to create a custom class. And while we're here, also you need to make sure you have a starting point in your project. And my starting point is this initial view controller. All right. All right. So now we'll go and create a custom class. And how do you do it? You right click here and say new file, Coca Touch, and then you click on next. I already have. You need to select. You make sure you select the UI table view controller, not the view controller we use to select is UI table view controller and then we'll give it a name I'm gonna call it store list table view controller okay and then we click on next all right and then we click on next here and what do we got all right First, before we look at this, we need to go back to the storyboard and associate this view controller with the class that we just created. And then we go to the identity inspector, and now we have store list table view controller. Okay. All right. If you right click on this table view controller, if you look at the table view controller, you'll see there's two things that are important. There's something called data source and delegate. What are these? The data source tells me that where the information is coming from to populate this table. The delegate tells me that if I want to do an action, if I click on this cell, if I want to delete this cell, who is going to handle this action? And that would be your delegate so both in both cases is the custom class that we've created which is a store list table view controller you got that this is important okay so now if we go back to that class that we just created which is the store list table view controller i'm going to move it here so it's all close next to each other if we look at it and let's see what we have in here Few things that already we are familiar with, such as the view did load, all right? And then, but there are things that are commented for us. We'll look at those later on. And then you have uh, the view did and the did receive memory, did receive warning, okay? There are other things that are related to the table of view or the table data source. So do you see this mark? It says mark table view data source. What does this do? Notice here when I click on the this here, I can select the method that I want to go to. And one of them is what table view data source, which is that one. And you can customize your code, your comments here. So say ta table source, for example. Okay just to show you. And then now when you click on this, you'll see that tag. So that mark allows you to organize your code in a, in a structured manner so you can go to each sections, 
easily, all right? The first thing we're gonna start with is this method. This is, a, these two methods are important. What do they tell you? The first one that says override function number of sections in a table. Remember when I said you can have multiple sections, group, remember we say you can have a group style with different sections? Well, here where you decide, I can have multiple sections in my table. If you want to have two, that means you will have two sections. And in each section, you have your own rows. So right now, I receive the table of view, and I return an integer that says, how many sections do I have in that table? So I'm going to say only one section. Okay. All right. The other part that is important, it says, wait a minute. Uh, how many rows do you want in each table, in each sections? So you receive two things. You receive the table view, the section, and you will tell it for that section, how many rows do you want? Well, we have only one section, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to say I'm going to return uh, 15 rows. Okay. So now what happens? If you run it, you got one table of view with nothing in it, of course, because we haven't populated. All right, let's quit the simulator. And you'll notice here in a minute what's happening here. We got an error. Table view data source return a cell from. Okay, we have a, we need to do one more method. All right. Okay, I was hoping that we don't have to do this, but there is one more method that we need to implement. Okay, which is or uncommon in the code. But if you go back to the table view again to that store listing, it's looking for a cell. It's looking for a cell, and the method that responsible of giving me back a cell is this. All right, so I just come in, I'm coming in this. This comes with the view controller. Let me explain to you this, what this means here. What this is, this is the method that is responsible to put information in that cell that you saw earlier in here. So if this is that cell, you have to populate data information in that cell. You have to create it and populate it. And the method that is responsible for that is called this here table view cell for a particular row you receive an index path which is made up of two things but one of them is called row so the row refers to the cell that cell number that you have in your table so if i have 15 remember when i said i have 15 Cells, so I'm expecting this method will be called 15 times. Every time you will have to give it back a cell with the information in it. All right. So you say you, you, you create the cell by what we call DQ from usable, uh, DQ reusable cell with an identifier. What that means, this does is that. Sometimes you can have hundreds and thousands of cells. You don't want to create thousands of cells. So what, what iOS allows you to do is that you can reuse some of these cells. And then remember that identifier that we gave in there, which is called cell. We have to use the same one that we gave there and that we put there. So, okay. so it says cell, give me a cell from that table. Once I got that cell, I can do things like this. I can say cell. All right, so we should be able to do things like this. We say cell dot text label, which is that the, this is the title label, and then you say dot text, and then you can say whatever. You can say hello first, and then we'll we'll change this next uh, uh, in the next video. Okay, and then you can say cell dot uh, detail label dot text. And this is this is your this is the description, and then you can say this is a description, right? I'll just say store great store, for example. Okay. All right. Um, all right. This is need to be optional. All right. 
And what we can do also, we can do the image itself. So you can say image view, again, dot image. And here we can, I have already an image called logo.jpg. Uh, and I'll use that, for example. So you, you need to create the image. So you say UI image, not image view, just image. And then you can say named uh, UI image. And then there's something called image named, okay. You'll see this here, image named. And then you can give it the name of the image, which is logo dot jpeg okay if we can spell jpeg then it'll be okay all right so now let's see what happens if we run this you should get the simulator here and you have this is repeated because every time i'm saying give every time i want to sell 15 times return to me a cell with the image and it has a label called hello and a description says great store all right now I mean, let me show you something here to just to change this hello to actually put the row number so you can see that we are actually have we have 15 numbers so remember that index.path so you can say things like this uh, index dot path index path dot row this will give you the row number and then next to it, it will be the word hello. All right. So now, if you do this, play it. You can see that zero, hello, great store, and so forth. 15, the end starts from zero. All right. This is it for this video. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you how we do. Uh, uh, the, we, we use different styles of the cell and uh, we will use an array instead of hard coding the values over and over again. So to summarize it, if you go, this is the important, I'm just going to summarize the important part. In the, in the storyboard, you drag in a table of view. The table of view is your list. It has to have a custom class core, which is of a type uh, UI, table of, uh, UI table of view controller. In the table itself, you can have, you will have cells, and this is that cell. In the cell, you make sure you give it an ID identifier in the attribute. That identifier is the one that we use in the custom class to get the cell. And um, once you do, once you get the cell, you can set the attributes of that cell. Okay, and then uh, let me go back to there and see if there's more in the study board. Um, then we talked about the different style of cells, which we'll see in the next video. Um, we talked about the different accessory types. I already have one here, but if we don't have anything that will not show. Uh, then you have in the table of view itself, these are the important parts. You have to give it a number of sections. You have to make sure that you give the number of rows, and then you create a cell. You set the attributes of the set the, uh, the value of the cell, the the label, the details, depending on what you want, and you return the cell. And the class is of a type UI table view controller. All right. So I'll see you in the next video.